Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day, and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. Oh my god, it's April Fool's Day! Ah! <laughs> Seriously though, I did think about making an April Fool's video, but the issue I have with that is that, say you're watching in December, hello person watching in December, I don't know, leave a comment and say if you're watching in December, <laughs> the video won't make any sense, because you won't know that it was an April Fool's video, um, so I figure how about for every April Fool's day from now on, we find a weird colouring book <laughs> and have a go at colouring it in, and because I'm loving them, Let's do it with these. So here's my weird comic book. Um, just so you know, I haven't coloured a colouring book in since I was in single digits. So <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. But when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Because you guys might not know, I actually really love horror films and when I'm not making uh, cute YouTube art videos, I'm actually writing horror scripts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to actually explore the horror aspect a little bit without doing anything too scary for you guys because I do like this place to be a safe space. Um, so actually, do let me know if you ever want to see anything a bit creepier. I'm happy to dabble um, if that's something you want to see. But anyway, so this is a classic comic colouring book, sci-fi and horror. Just saying, oh no, no help. <laughs> Let's see what it has to say on the back. If you love the weird and wonderful artwork in vintage sci-fi and horror comics, this is the colouring book for you, filled with all sorts of spooks, ghouls and scary monsters ready to colour. Add colour to over 60 vintage sci-fi and horror comic covers. From aliens in outer space to creatures from beyond the grave. A perfect starting point to develop your own comic art style. Huh, you know, I'd never really thought of it that way before. Uh, and if you're curious where I got this from, I got it from the works. Okay, let's have a look inside. See if we can find a cool page to colour. Captain Science. How about in the comments you say what page you would have chosen? I don't want to do anything with too much black. Um, Cause there won't be much fun for you to watch that way. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I can't even work out what that is. Is that just like a pointed head alien? Is it a crab? <laughs> is it a prawn? I can't work it out. <laughs> Apparently it's a body snatcher. <laughs> oh wow, this is dramatic. Mysteria of the moon. Oh, this is fun. Ghouls. Ooh, creepy ant person. Catch oh, is that a fairy? Oh, they're on Venus. There are fairies on Venus, everybody. Rocket Man. Ooh, I love the perspective they've done on that. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I like this, the fish man. <gasps> oh, sorry, lizard man. That could be fun to do, the lizard man. <gasps> oh, this is dramatic. Space guitar. Oh, I love the composition on this one. Giant size. <laughs> Oh, this one's so creepy! Look, he's so creepy with his mouth. <laughs> it's like a little head and then just legs. <laughs> Mr. Mystery. <laughs> he's just like, oh my goodness, that face. <laughs> he's <just> so weird. <laughs> Contest winners in this issue. Ooh, I wonder who won. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> ooh, maybe not that one. <laughs> Weird Tales of Terror, that's kind of fun, but there is a lot of black on this one. Ah, oh, this reminds me, this, this monster's face reminds me of a particular horror film. Oh, bums, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll, I'll write it in or I'll dub it in, uh, but it's, this face is very familiar. Oh, 
Wasp woman. wasp woman. Oh, see, this is amazing, but it has got a lot of black on it again. Oh, poo! Because I really like this one. Ugh. I, I do even want to. It kind of looks like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. This could have a lot of detail in it, maybe. Dr. Death. <gasps> it's like a cat, scorpion fish. <sighs> Love her outfit. Oh, well, this is dramatic. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, this is quite eerie. Strange world of your dreams. That could be fun to do. Oh my gosh, this is just as amazing! His, his expression and her expression! Oh! <laughs> we might have a winner. <laughs> Ooh, dramatic. Going, going, gone. I do like how it is a good combo of sci-fi and horror. Ooh, amazing. Captain Atom. Oh, he's like a radioactive man. <laughs> oh goodness, what's going on in this one? Ooh, she's fun. The lizard person could be uh, fun to colour in. of Pisces. Oh boy. <laughs> I love to. Okay. Well, this is fun as well. Is that the last one? That's the last one. Okay, did you guys have a favourite? I think... Just based on the fact I really love the guy's expression. I'm gonna Go for this one, because his expression is crazy. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. I'm a Romany. <laughs> I am not offended. <laughs> I am not offended. I mean, if I got offended by every Romany image like this, oh, there'd be no point living. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to grab my pencils, and I'm just going to sort of chill and colour. Um... So, I don't know, grab something that you want to work on and maybe we can work together. 
I'm not going to lie, I found this task really intimidating, as despite the fact it wasn't a blank piece of paper, it felt as scary as a blank piece of paper, because I really wanted to do the original artist's lines justice. And I kind of feel like I'm still a newbie when it comes to using proper artist colouring pencils. Prior to this, the only videos I've uh, made have been trying stationery or school grade or children's pencils, which like totally fine and they've been fun to explore, but like <laughs> these are definitely my first big person pencils. Um, so because of this, I decided to work on areas that were smaller and I definitely knew how I wanted them to look. So for example, right now I'm working on the stars and moon patterns on the tablecloth because they were small and I definitely knew that I wanted them to be a pale yellow colour. At this point, I was still feeling intimidated, so I picked another section that I already knew how I wanted to colour, and that was the monster's hands. They had to be green and furry, right? I finally bit the bullet and started working on the skin, going in lightly first with the light orange, then with the ochre, and then I started putting on a heavier layer of the light orange. At this point, I thought he was looking a bit too orange, so I used the lilac to cool down the shadows on his face and later his hands too.
I could hold it back no longer and had to start working on my first expanse of material. The material scared me because I knew I'd have to get the folds looking right, so I thought I would start on the tablecloth first, as I knew I either wanted it to be a dark purple or a dark blue. Next up was the fortune teller's headscarf. I really wanted to bring out the pretty pattern on it, so I used green and red. was time to shade the white of her shirt and headscarf. I first went in with ivory and then light grey, but the light grey wasn't really showing up, so then I went in with the normal grey and it looked so much better. I moved on to the man's outfit. I was pretty certain he wasn't supposed to have a white and black jacket, however I was really digging his Beetlejuice vibes so I just went straight into it and started shading it the same way I'd shaded the woman. Next, in my desperate attempt to avoid that back curtain, <laughs> I coloured the tie and the monster sleeve in shades of brown. really excited to start the crystal ball and coloured it light pastel shades of blues, pinks and yellows. Avoiding that curtain, I moved on to the text, which I knew I really wanted to pop. I knew I wanted the curtain to be a red velvet colour, so I thought yellow would look perfect against it.
past, there was no avoiding it. I had to work on that big expanse of curtain. I started with very light layers of red, slowly building them up, adding shades of purple and blue for the shadows and pink for the highlights. coloring book page using these amazing Posca pencils and what do you think? <laughs> I'm really happy with it as this has been the first time I have colored anything since coming out of single digits I think. I mean like coloring anything in a coloring book sense obviously I've colored things that, like probably last week I colored something didn't I? You know what I mean! Um, Oh, I went online and I managed to find the original picture that this was based on. So let's insert it here and we can do a comparison. Not too bad, eh? Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud that I went with the Beetlejuice jacket. I like the Beetlejuice jacket. And I kind of like the effect I did on the crystal ball. I know they went like um, full colour on him and his attacker, but I kind of like the dreaminess of it. Um, and my cousin is looking pretty cool too. <laughs> I wanted to make her look as pretty as I could because she was kind of being a bit of a stereotype and we don't like that. So hopefully I did her proud. Um, but yeah, would you like to see me do any more pages from this book? It was really fun. And would you like to see me do any other weird coloring books? Because uh, I'm sure there must be some weird ones out there. Please leave some suggestions in the comment section below if you know any weird coloring books that you'd like to see me feature. But they do have to be weird. I'm not interested in doing anything like Disney or uh, mandalas, stuff like that. That's just lots of people do that already. I want to do the weird stuff. <laughs> Well, anyway, thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favourite part was. If you could leave a comment in the comment section below. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications and share this video, it would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions. And I'll see you next time. Bye!